Hello, Ron Mithril here once again. This one's sort of a call for help. I'm hoping to mobilize some tech support for my poor mum. She's been having computer issues for a while now, and unfortunately it seems like it might be more a hardware-related thing, and, well, I'm good at learning new software, but hardware issues, I'm pretty much useless there. So, here's the issue at hand. Her system is a Dell system running Vista 32-bit, just plain vanilla Vista. When she boots up the system, it brings up the Dell logo, and if it's working right, the Microsoft logo and loading bar should follow, and she gets to her desktop. This still happens sometimes if all the stars align, which thankfully they did during tax time, but lately it hasn't seemed to want to cooperate at all. Instead, after the Dell logo, she just gets a blank black screen with a flashing cursor on the upper left corner, and then after a few minutes, the message I have here on the screen appears. No boot device available. SATA 0 installed, SATA 1 installed, SATA 2 none, SATA 3 none. It then just stays there with the cursor flashing at the end of the message and nothing else occurs. So pretty much that's where we are and we're not quite sure what the trouble could be. We've tried putting the messages in on search engines, but the responses are generally just full of tech jargon to where they're not really much help to us. So essentially, if anyone out there knows what might be wrong here and how to fix it, and can easily tell us that, please feel free to comment. And as always, any assistance here is greatly appreciated. With that, though, that's all for now. Thank you again for listening, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.